What's going on everybody on YouTube? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift and we're going to get started with a haul video. I went to the bins, did a little bit of thrift storing as well, regular thrift stores. If you guys don't know what the bins are, it's like we call it the, the, the way and pay or whatever. Um, you pay by the weight. So anyway, don't go nowhere. And if you guys are not yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to get notified when I post another video. Leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions. Um, I try to answer all of them as quickly as possible. A lot of times I kind of get caught in the moment and I don't really um, get to get to them right away. So be patient and I will get back to you as soon as possible, ASAP, whatever. All right, so we're gonna get into the stuff that I got at the bins today. I think I spent like $6. I didn't really buy anything. I put a bunch of stuff back. Um, I did have some like DVDs, CDs or something like that. And I'm going to turn that light off in the back because that's not good. All right. So it was kind of like leaving this thing in the back. Um, it's not as bright in here as I would like it to be. Um, I guess I could have pointed my umbrellas this way, but I think this is good enough. And uh, let's get into the box. First, we're going to we're gonna show you there was an old... There was a couple hats, so I think I spent a total of, what was it, $4.55? Yeah, like, I didn't really spend anything at the Goodwill today. Not at this one, anyway. All right, so we're going to get into what I got here. First, I picked up this shirt, and I was like, oh, okay. Um, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. It's just a Playboy. It's um, it, I don't know if this was, like, maybe the first issue. Excuse me, it's got little Playboy bunnies all over it. Like, you can see them in the background it's excuse me man I just ate earlier and it's not always a good idea to eat and then make a video so um, I don't know what do you think guys uh, someone was like ah well somebody actually wanted it another reseller and um, I was like well let me give it a shot and see if we can get something for it I figured it was pretty cool um, it's made by Playboy you know all these all these um, things they all have their own company now for clothing so you know, Pink Floyd, ACDC, Aerosmith, they all have their own thing, so, um, a lot of groups, you know, like that, so, you know, whatever. Alright, so this is from 2001, I'm guessing, best transfer, 75, 2001, I don't know if it's exactly from 2001, but 20 years old, it's the September 11th, I normally don't do well with these, that's why I don't even know why I picked it up, I'm kind of a little... A little desperate for inventory. It's in pretty good condition. So, whatever. I shouldn't be desperate then, huh? So, I guess they couldn't get two bucks for this at the Goodwill. All right. So, this is brand new. It just says Germany on it. I thought it was pretty cool. It's got it's got the tag on it. I don't exactly know what this hat is worth. It's from 2006. It is... It is Germany, yeah, Germany 2006. It is the, oh, is it the FIFA? I think it's soccer. I think it's FIFA World Cup. It is, so it's the FIFA World Cup. So that's even better, being that it has something else going on. It's not just Germany. This is actually the World Cup in 2006. So I don't know who won that year. I don't know what the deal is with this, but um, it was brand new, so I just grabbed it. Remember, I only spent $5 total. So I grabbed this trucker. It's got a little rope here. I think that this is like a newer. I don't think that this is vintage, but this is just like a cool blank hat. Somebody could maybe put a print on it or something. But um, yeah, it's brand new. It is just says made made in Taiwan ROC. So you know whatever. It's brand new. Maybe I can get like ten bucks for it or something. I, it was another bad pickup. So this I was actually I wasn't really surprised that this had value. Um, I did look at the disc. The disc is actually, <gasps> the disc is in pretty good condition. Not perfect. I think I'm going to switch this out because I think that this is broken. I'm going to switch this out with another case. So this is Bratz Rock Angels. Um, I think new, these sell for a lot. These sell for like 50 bucks. Um, so I think I can get about 25 for that. Maybe somewhere between 15 and 25, something like that. I'll get a decent amount for it. And then we got this Barbie Sleeping Beauty. 
which has got a few scratches on it. To play as an audio CD, skip track one. Hmm. Okay, so this is CD-ROM, but then you can also play it as an audio CD, so that's pretty cool. Um, has all the Barbie accessories, has the Game Boy game on the back, pretty cool. So th the value on that is only like $15, something like that, I don't know. Like I said, I was just kind of frustrated being there. I couldn't find anything, and I went over to the to the hard goods instead of doing clothing, and then they took forever to bring another bin out, so I was like, you know what, I'm leaving. It was already 10.30. It was just way too late for me just to be sitting there. All right, so I got this JVC little camcorder. I think I'm going to need a cord to charge it, but um, this is a JVC um, Avario. It does have a lot of scratches on it. I think those, yeah, has a lot of scratches on it. It's kind of beat up. It comes with two batteries, but um, these do sell really well. They sell for about $50, so um, hopefully if it works. If not, the batteries may be no good. I might be able to sell it for parts, but it did have also have a lens. So it came with two batteries. It came with the JVC case, comes with the case, and then it has this extra lens to go with it, so... Um, the lens just kind of screws on to the end. It's like a big lens. So, you know, maybe that will up the value a little bit. Maybe I'll get like 60 for it if I can get it to work. Like I said, it's not in the best condition, though. That's the problem. If it was in better condition, and um, I have to charge it. So now i got to see how I'm going to charge those little batteries. I don't know if I can charge the unit with a cord. I, I don't know. So This, I think, is an old school Amazon. I think that's what this is. I don't know if it's an echo or if it's a dot or I don't know what they are. Like I did, I think I did see Amazon on the, it's really hard to read. There's the model assembly, da, 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 da. Amazon. Yeah. Lux, Lux and something. I don't know. All right. So we'll take a look at this. I'll see if I can charge it. See if we can, oh, duh. Amazon. I knew that. Wow. <laughs> Okay, all right, so one more thing that we got there. We got a popple. I found a popple. All right, so these came out, I think they came out in the 90s, 80s or 90s, and they went boop, and then they popped out, and there you go. And then it's got the pouch wrap back there now. So um, it's in really good condition. Problem is, is that the tag is really worn off, so can't really see. As you can see, the tag is just worn complete. Well, I might be able to get a few letters in there, I don't know. But um, I'm gonna see what this one is worth. I think I think they sell for like 20 or $30 or something like that, I don't know. But like I said, it was just a bad, it was a bad experience at the Goodwill. We found a couple things, but this is cool. Old plushes like this and old toys, like the monster doll, the big monster doll with the handcuffs. Some of them sell for really good money, especially if you can find them brand new. So th that was that. And then this was behind the counter. Um, I. I talk to the people at the community aid a lot and you know we just kind of discuss all kinds of stuff and you know they know what they're doing they know that they're you know when they put things behind and put the stuff in the back that's worth more but um, I think this is made by Laney I think the brand is called Laney but it just looks like Louis Vuitton it's really cool it's just like a messenger bag I guess you could put your laptop in there or whatever you want it to do I might, I might just hold on to this and keep this as like a personal type of deal. It has like an accordion type of close, you know, accordion inside. And then it has a strap on the inside. It has another pocket here. So it's just, I mean, it's made really good. I don't know if it's genuine leather, but like the way that it's made, it just says made in China. It's PVC, so... It is not made out of leather, but it's still pretty cool. It's just cool to look at too. So, you know, even some of the um, some of those bags like Louis Vuitton things like that. A lot of them bags are PVC. A lot of them are not. They are not genuine leather. So, but that's the way it is. All right, so we're gonna get into this. So we found this is Rabbit's Invasion. The reason why I grabbed it is because it was brand new. There is one listed. Um, but it's not brand new. This one is brand new in the bag. So that's a good thing. Um, a couple other ones sell. I think they sell for like $20 or $25, something like that. So I figured since this is brand new, 
I'll probably list it for like 30 or $35. This will ship right in a box first class. So um, I paid a dollar for that. And, all right. So here's some new type of polo. It's called, it's called Canoes and Kayaks of New York. So it's got all this writing on the inside. At first I wasn't sure if it was like just just like custom, like somebody just did that or whatever, you know, maybe for dry cleaning or for a company or whatever. But um, this has the rubber buttons. Anytime you see the rubber buttons, when you should be able to bend them or like right in half. Like see how they just bend right in half. These are made out of rubber. Um, whenever you see rubber buttons like that, that is rugby. All right, so this is a rugby polo um, canoe. I see people listing them for like $50. I don't think that I looked in the sold listings, but... It's in pretty good condition. It's a good size, extra large. It's not made in USA, but it was only four bucks. So I figured four, um, maybe I can get like 30 or 40 for it. So we'll see. It is plain. It would have been nice if it would have been a big pony, you know, with all the stripes and all the crates. Sometimes they tend to do very well. So we'll see. I think I got two of this type of shirt. All right, so these are Acorn by Bob Gold. Is it gold something gold? I don't know if he's a golf player. Gold feeder. Gold fetter. Something like that. I can't remember. But here's what the tag looks like. There's different types of tags. Um, I seen one sell for $100, but it had a white tag. So I don't know how well these are going to sell. I'm going to list them high. We're going to go from there and see how well they do. Um, there's another one. So there's this one I paid $6 for. It's just a plain stripe it's a little more of like a heavier type of canvas um you know like a denim type of deal so we'll see there's another one in here somewhere i smell a stink bug i smell the stink bug maybe it got in one of these bags i don't know i wasn't sourcing outside today i know that so i don't know what the deal is with that all right so this is on a jersey tag made in usa so it's definitely vintage probably somewhere in the 90s maybe maybe early 2000s i don't know it's not single stitch but this is just like a religious type of deal. It says cross, cross training. Really cool. It's got the sneakers hanging from the cross. It's really neat. For somebody that's athletic, you know, that's religious. So it kind of, kind of tends to, to cater to two, two things, you know. So that's pretty cool. So I picked it up. I think it was like three dollars or something like that. So we'll see. Here's another new brand that I never seen. Um, I picked these up because these are destroyed, and I know that they'll sell. The name of the is Reformation. Reformation, and they're just, like, destroyed, you know. Pretty cool. Um, I don't know if there's a style. Sometimes when you look inside the tag, you'll see a style. It just says 29 Reformation. These are in the women's section, so I'm guessing. I think that they make women's jeans. I don't think they make men's. It's always a good thing when a company does that. That way, at least you know. Um, and here's another good brand. I don't know how fast that this brand sells. They were wide leg, which um, they're going to sell for a little bit more than the skinny fit. They're a button fly, and these are free people. All right, so these, these are made by free people, and they are wide leg. So I don't know if they're meant to be like capri, ankle, what, whatever. All right, we're not saving any more of these bags because I got enough of them. Let's see what we have in here. All right, we got a couple of sport coats today. So we got this one was $7.99, and this one was a Burberry. I think that this might be silk. I don't know if it says it up here, maybe. It should say it on the should say it on the inside usually when it's the material will tell you it feels like silk no so they don't even have the size or anything on the inside of these older jackets because this was just like a custom made nope I think it's time to cut my nails too they're like scratching me. um so yeah I don't know but anyway it's a Burberry. It's kind of like a tweed. It is, yeah, see, the, I can tell by the way that this thing is like fraying, that it's definitely has silk in it. It has a silk, because that's what silk does. So I'm guessing that this is probably silk or silk blend. Um, 
It might be all silk. I think I have one like this. I think I have a jacket that's kind of just like this. It has, has pink lining in it. So that is called, this is a houndstooth um, Glen plaid. That's, that's what that is. That is a houndstooth Glen plaid. So it has two different types of patterns. So we'll see. All right. And this one was, I did see a bunch of, I did see an Armani button down. It had bad collar stain. And I seen some um, Ermengildo Geldo Zegna. They were, they don't sell well for me. I, I they, they just sit forever. So this was Armani by Giorgio Armani. Um, I probably should have looked at the tag. Usually you can look right at the tag. This is pure virgin wool, viscose lining. Um, I'll probably get like 50 for this, between 50 and 75, 7.99. It doesn't have anything really special going on with it. It's just like a solid gray. So it's probably a suit jacket. So, and I didn't see the pants, which I actually did look for them, and I didn't see them. Make sure that, yeah, there's definitely a stink bug somewhere. Because they stink. They are stinking. Alright, let's get, get a little drink here. Still on a diet tip, but now I'm starting to work out today. I worked out today for about 40 minutes. Did the arms, did the triceps. Get her in, get her in. Get her done. Somebody got to do it. No one's going to tell me. No one's going to push me to do it. You have to do it yourself. Because honestly, nobody cares. No one else cares whether you're in good shape or you're fit. Maybe a couple loved ones. But everybody else, nobody cares. All right, so this was $2.99. It's just the Vineyard Vines pocket tee. Um, it's not going to sell for that much. I paid $3 for it. So I'll probably... I'll probably get like 20 bucks for it. If I want to sell it really fast, I'll, I'll let it go for like 20. So whatever. I got a couple items for my kids too. I got that for one of the boys, a little dripping, dripping, dripping bulls, dripping bulls. All right. Um, so this is from the seventies. The brand is called Saturdays. Um, it was three 99. It's brand new. Um, I think I can get closer to $40 for this. It's just a vintage um, type of deal. It's kind of like a polo, long sleeve polo shirt. So let's see. Um, there's not a whole lot listed, not a whole lot sold. I wasn't going to pick this up because it does need a lot of work. I'm going to have to trim it. There's a lot of pilling on this shirt. It's going to take me probably about a half hour to clean it. Um, but it is... It's not a bird's eye. It's kind of like a Nordic Fair Isle, maybe. It is a Woolrich. So it's not a super old Woolrich, but it's made in China, so you know it's not like it's not really old. You can't see the tag, of course, because they always put things in the way of the tag. There's the tag. It's got the green tag on it. It is men's. It is a men's large. It says men's right on it. So um, yeah, this is gonna take a while for me to clean. I'm gonna have to clean that up. I didn't want to. I should have left it because now I have to put the time into that to get that, you know, to get that right. It's going to take a while. So, you know, whatever. All right. So this was $2.99. This is Big Johnson. This is vintage 90s. It's pretty cool. It's got a really cool graphic on the back. It's one of the reasons why I grabbed this. Kind of like hot pink, too. Really cool. Um, it's probably 90. I think it's 94. 92 so this is pretty old too so there's the date right there 1992 three something like that is that a three don't know can't see letters that small it's actually made by i think it's made by o o onita onita is makes the tag makes the it's going to onita tag whatever all right so here's a zegna this i couldn't figure out what the material is on this I think that this is linen. So maybe I might do a little bit better with this. I put most of the, the other Zegnas back. They were either stained or I'm just they just don't sell well. You know, it is a good brand. It's a very expensive brand, but you gotta have the right piece. It has to be the right and they have to be newer. So I don't know if this is a newer tag. The tag is actually a little suspect, isn't it? Made in Italy. So this is cotton. Wow. It feels like linen. 
It does feel like linen, so we'll see. I don't know about that tag. I don't know how new this is. So we'll get it listed today, and we'll see if we can get it to sell. So I don't know. If not, I'm not buying Vegna no more because it just doesn't sell for me. If you can find the suits, you know, the real high-end suits, then now they should do well. All right, so here is a brand of Ralph Lauren, which is called Denim and Supply. So whenever you're looking and you see this label, it's hard to tell that it's Ralph Lauren. You have to really look at the label, but it'll say, it'll say Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren. All right, so this is really, it's kind of like a quilted um, argyle, like diamond. So it's got that lumberjack. I think that's brown. Yeah, it's, it's not black. It's brown, and it buttons all the way up. Um, I'm thinking that I can get close to 100 for this, maybe 80 so you see when I paid for it, I paid $5.99 for that. So really good deal. That was an awesome find. That was almost the best find of today. Um, maybe, um, I think this is Ben Simmons. I think that's, I'm going to give this to my son. We got a Ben Simmons. He's probably going to wear it to school tomorrow. Um, he's a little bit bigger than us. I think that this is, is this an extra? This is a 2XL, but it might it might fit him. So we'll see. We shall see, said the blind man. All right, so I couldn't find Gore-Tex on this anywhere. I see the Gore-Tex one selling for like 200 I paid up for this. I paid 15 This is a Cabela's. It is. Um, it's a hunting jacket, but it is. What's the camo pattern? If I can find it. Wow, really hard to find, isn't it? Where are you at? There it is. It is Advantage Wetlands Camo. So it's got a lining on the inside. So really nice jacket. It's got a hood on it. Um, really, really super warm. It's a size medium. It's a good size. So we paid 15 for it. I paid up for this because I know that it's going to sell for a good bit. It has, it has a lining on the inside. I don't know if it's wool. I don't think that it's wool. It has a zip-out lining. Yeah, I think that's just maybe cotton. Not sure. Probably somewhere in one of the pockets will say what the material of the lining is. But it doesn't matter. This is like a canvas. Um, I think, I don't know if that's duck camo. I don't know what camo. I think that's maybe just like deer camo. I don't know. I don't know. Wetlands. Wetlands. So, whatever. But um, hopefully I can get a decent amount for that. All right, so here's the receipt that we spent. Spent a little bit at the community aid. I spent 87. So I I went to the one Goodwill and they were closed. So I spent 87 there. So that was a decent amount. But I'll probably get I'll get my money back just on the jacket. The jacket should sell for over a hundred. So everything else will just be profit. All right, these were 12.99. I actually paid up for these, but. I'm going to give them to my grandson. They're really, really, they're in really good shape. Um, I don't know which ones they are, but they're really nice. Really nice J's. Um, they're just, they're only dirty on the bottom. Everywhere else is good. I guess if I was to resell these, probably get a decent amount, but I don't have very good um, experience selling these. Maybe if they were brand new, if all of them that I got were all new, I would have good experiences with them, but I don't have good experience in selling um, selling on um, children's items and baby items. I just, so I just don't want to pick them up anymore. Um, this was $5.99. I keep seeing these tweeds. There. I was like, you know, I'm just going to pick them up. This one is Michael's exclusive haberdashy. It's just, this is a local Carlisle. We, I live in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. So this is a local company. This, I didn't, this, I didn't find this in a shop in Carlisle, but that's where they had it made. Top pocket is actually still sewn. That one is not. So I guess they never used their top pocket. So it's just a really nice tweed. It's kind of maybe a barley corn or something. You know, whatever. But it's still a nice tweed, and tweeds are do are doing really well right now. They're they're definitely gonna sell. I did see a Harris tweed at the bins today, but it was had blood all over it. It was it was so disgusting that you know there was no way I was gonna buy it. If it would have just been a couple stains, I would have been able to get them out. But there was like, at the bottom of it, there was like huge stains. All right, so this one is a herringbone. This one's a herringbone tweed, gray. 
herringbone, and this one is made. This one is made by Hager. This is Gallery by Hager. So just your basic tweeds. Um, they'll probably sell for like 30 or more. This one has the elbow patches on it. Has the elbow patches. It doesn't have the leather buttons. It just has regular flat buttons. So kind of unusual for a tweed like this. This is considered, these heavier ones are considered sport coats. So those are both a sport coat. And got a couple other things for home. That's going home because I keep forgetting to buy one and I seen one today so I bought it. Got some wife beaters for my son. There we go. They're going home. And here is the other one, the other acorn shirt. They're actually like Western. If you look at the back and you can see how it goes down in the back, that's kind of like a Western style. It does it in the front too. It has the it has the the Western style in the front too. So these are in really good shape. It's a cool color, so um, I think the pearl snaps do a little bit better, and both of them are not a pearl snap, but I still should do pretty good with those. And last but not least, we got one more shirt. All right, so I don't know. I see people listing it really high, so I don't know. I figured for $4, I'll just give it a chance. It is 2008 Lucasfilm, but I think this is a Disney I think this was bought at the Disney store. I think this is a Disney store. Indiana Jones, it says where there's a whip, where there's a whip, there's a way. All right, so I just watched a movie with um, Harrison Ford in it yesterday. It was really good. Um, in his uh, not so younger years, but the movie was old. Harrison Ford must be really getting up there. Like, he's in a lot of action movies. Like, I love that. I love the Indiana Jones movies, like Temple of temple of doom and they're just raiders of the lost ark i love those movies they're just really cool to watch adventure type of deal so anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video bags making a lot of noise get out of here bag anyway thank you guys don't forget to hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell to get notified when i post another video hope you guys learned something hope you've seen something today um that maybe inspired you um to um just kind of go out and just kind of look for stuff like this and you know, to resell, make your own money and live your own, live the way you want to live, you know, and um, just kind of, kind of do your own thing. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I got work to do. Peace out.